and in charge of the Epistate Pharmacy Council. Mrs. Dr. Manjula B. Boswani, IRS Secretary to Health and Medical Family Welfare Department. C. Leila Aparini and the MNC on the page. C. Madhali Vidal and the MLA Guru West on the page. And my colleagues and lawyers are State Pharmacy Council members. And the distinguished people of the lawyers. And uh, uh, we all know this is the day of celebration of a day of recognition. I first, first of all, convey my thanks who initiated this idea and approved and supported by who. I first of all uh, um, thank you to Mr. Dr. William K. Regaru for being initiating this idea. And with the help and support of Harinder sir, IAS, the in charge of the State Pharmacy Council. I am really grateful, sir, to give us this honor to conduct this uh, meeting. And as you all know, pharmacist is a crucial part of the human healthcare system. He is the only one to know how to make a drug palatable for humans by formulating the drugs, drug drug interactions and no extensive pharmacology of the drugs. But with Corona, as in charge, Sir said, where the pharmacists play a major role complementing other stakeholders of healthcare system, like doctors and nurses. But pharmacists as always have a crucial, even sitting in a crucial position during the pandemic as a community, or a retail pharmacist in medical shop to dispense the drugs specially for fevers and other symptomatics of the corona pandemic. And he was sitting in a crucial position, come to know the spread of the pandemic and inform suitably to the doctor, sorry, the other healthcare system to take necessary action to contain the pandemic. And despite all these efforts, as uh, in charge has said, our efforts are to recognize the human. And globally and internationally, people accepted that pharmacist is an unsung hero of pandemic. And so, here, why we are not getting recognition by the society and in the, by the government? The reason we are not getting anybody, but we should strive forward to make society and government recognize our efforts first of all. For that, I from here, from this, in this, uh, I'm bringing to the notice of this August gathering that we will take a pledge. The very first pledge is the drugs should be dispensed by only the pharmacists. We will not any other people who want to go away and dispense drugs. We will get this pledge. Now we will see why we will not get recognized. So, for this, already Pharmacy Council of India have taken stringent measures and to make the legislations and even with the help of State Pharmacy Council as well as the DCA authority, these rules should be implemented. So, in this regard, I want to bring it to the notice that the AB state, in the AB state, one of the state, the council is not in place. Maybe I am not going into the details of that because uh, I want to bring it to notice to the uh, uh, to see Vijay uh, uh, Sahadiyaru bring it to notice of our leader C M Jayendra. Then he will initiate and nominated five members from to the state and and nominated and uh, appointed Vishka. Very first time in the history of the United Pharmacy Council, the pharmacy teacher will be appointed in the history. The teacher only will understand the problems of the student. So, by the way, in this intention of government is being so support, we all will support the initiatives taken by our government, led by our great leader, by the But at last, I want to thank all the uh, administrators who gave me this opportunity. Thank you very much.